farmers are extremely worried about the fact that um, the current um, proposal for European wide legislation, the directive for sustainable use and uh, regulation for uh, placing uh, plant protection products on the market will seriously restrict the availability of uh, plant protection products, which in fact will deteriorate our uh, competitiveness at the marketplace. I would imagine that if European farmers were not given the same, at least approximately the same set of tools at the marketplace, then their competitors across the border, they can't compete. And we, the reality is that the market is going to be liberalized over the long term anyway. And uh, if European farmers are restricted in relative to terms more than they can bear, the advantages will be gathered, it will be collected by our competitors from third countries. And we feel very strongly that if, if European legislators are willing to put these standards in place in European Union and European Union own production, the minimum requirement is that the same standards should be applied to the imports that we see at the marketplace. And that's not going to happen? Obviously, it will be extremely complicated, even, even if, it's, if, it, even if it, it was possible, there is a danger that we, confront, we will be confronted by our international agreements in WTO, for instance. And secondly, we may bear the consequences of the marketplace in terms of extreme um, administrative burden uh, that the farmers or, or other stakeholders at the food chain will face. I'm definitely not comfortable with the fact that um, this, uh, this issue has been polarized by saying that, uh, well, we just get rid of these products and we go happily ever after. This is not the case. The reality is that we need, need to have a set of products available for farmers all, all across the world, in fact, so in order to satisfy the consumer needs. And in re this respect, European Union is not an island. And I believe European Union legislators, European Union institutions have to acknowledge this fact. We are living in a world that is becoming more and more interconnected. And by taking a unilateral action like, like this we have now on the table only demonstrates that these realities have not been fully respected by our European institutions. So what's, what's driving it? How do we get here? Well, I, I believe that it is, it is extremely uh, popular to say that, um, or easy to say that, let's get rid of that. Let's, let's do something drastic. European Union elections, European, European Parliament elections are coming. Of course, it's, it's an easy argument, a uh, good argument to propose in the, let's say, to electorate and to your possible voter that, well, I defended the issue vigorously against the multinationals and the um, stakeholders in Brussels without acknowledging that actually it is extremely complex issue that that does actually have not simple truths in it. And we have to take a look into this from a very, let's say, diverse um, point of view of European agriculture and uh, the multitude of production methods across, all, across, all across Europe. What I re really would like to emphasize is the need of, uh, of uh, having these uh, fine-tuned ad amendments to the, to the package that we have uh, seen at the, at the very last moment, or the, the Council amendments, in terms of um, uh, derogation for, for instance, the five-year derogation. I think that's quite crucial for certain minor products, minor sectors. And then also when we talk about um, uh, zoning, I think it's important for us that uh, we maintain the current council approach in zoning, which in, in our mind gives the opportunity to farmers to benefit from common market uh, sort of activity, meaning that this will make sure that the farmers will have sufficient number of products available to them without endangering the actually safety precautions that must be in place. We have European Food Safety Authority that is fully capable of assessing what is coming up. What we need to do in, in the management side of, of risk, we have to acknowledge the fact how the decision, has been, uh, the decision will be done based on the scientific advice of EFSA. 
we believe that the current zoning approach proposed by the Council is uh, really uh, to the benefit of the whole issue.